Hello, my name is Samantha Gavu, and this is my leadership interview for COM430. Leadership as noted in the text is a fundamental element of the human condition, page 10. It is about who you are, how you act, what you do, and how you work with others. This special form of the human communication is the reason why I have identified my aunt, Rosemary Calvillo, as a leader. Rosemary Calvillo is currently the ELP Operation Consultant Employees Experience for the telecommunication company Verizon Wireless in El Paso, Texas. Rosemary has been with Verizon for over 13 years in which at one point the company was known as Altel Wireless. During her time with the company, she has managed to work her way up and build the necessary components of an effective leader. Without explaining to my aunt the textbook's definition of a leader, Rosemary believes an effective leader to have the ability of leading others while knowing how to achieve goals and inspire followers along the way. Leadership is about who you are. Rosemary started off her career as a single parent working two jobs to support her daughter, and with the opportunity given to her by Verizon, she was able to quit both her jobs and provide her daughter their life. Her parents helped her tremendously during this extremely difficult time managing the balance between work, school, and life. She considers herself to be a loyal leader to whom others have asked to help them pave the way. She recognizes her strengths to be confidence, determination, trustworthiness, team player, and an extrovert with strong communication skills. In her career, she has been a customer service representative, customer service lead, a supervisor for customer service, a supervisor of marketing and continuity of operations, an associate director on deck, employee engagement supervisor, and she currently holds the title of operation consultant employee experience. Leadership is about how you act. The situational approach consists of two major components, ability and willingness. This strategy is best applied to the leadership of my aunt. Ability and competence refers to the skills, knowledge, and experience while willingness and commitment relate to feelings of confidence and motivation, page 84. Rosemary's ability to continue her education and graduate with a bachelor's degree from the University of Phoenix was one of the biggest risks she had taken, but it aided her throughout her career. She is also certified through a program by well-known CEO Jack Welch of General Electric and has always researched and read books to maintain her confidence. Rosemary's willingness to stay motivated is with the help of her family and inspired by her parents' hope of opportunity to reach her potential as a leader and as the only female on her operations team, she pushes herself to prove to others as well as herself her credibility. Rosemary's high ability and high willingness indicates the fourth readiness level of the situational approach. Leadership is about what you do and how you work with others. Democratic leaders engage in supportive communication that facilitate interaction between leaders and followers, page 40. As a leader, Rosemary collaborates with her followers. She is responsible for reporting, coaching, and providing feedback. The communication style a leader, I'm sorry, a leader selects contributes to the success or failure of any attempt to exert influence, page 38. Rosemary's leadership style has contributed to her success in means of her learning different behavioral styles and being more aware of her surroundings, while also learning how to cope with negativity. She experienced failure as a leader when she was given the task of working with an unmotivated, I'm sorry, unmotivated team. And thanks to self-reflection and self-correction, she was able to learn from that situation. Rosemary was also given the opportunity to manage her team when her boss was on a business trip and modified a plan that would allow her to be an efficient and effective leader while keeping her team accountable. While Rosemary experienced success and failure as a leader, she also experienced discrimination. After receiving the position of customer service lead, she was told there had been a mistake and the offer was to be withdrawn. She later learned that the position was given to another employee who did not exceed her ranking but was chosen for the fact that he did not have a family. Rosemary continues to dominate in her career and did not let failure or discrimination define her success as a leader. Through the human connection of leadership, Rosemary has proven to be a valued leader through her company as she has provided me with the fundamental elements of who she is, 
how she acts, what she does, and how she works with others. Rosemary advised me to stay true to myself, take risks and learn from my mistakes, and know that along the way, I would be tested more than once. She is independent, but knows the value of teamwork and goal expectations, and will always be considered a leader and role model from my perspective.